Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgos for the sun, moon, and rising. Let's get into your reading. If you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there, okay? So, whoa. You already have cards popping out, Virgo. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out four cards for you and then four cards for your partner with the center issue. So let's get right into it. Spirit, what are the messages for Virgos for the mid-month September 2017 regarding their love life? Spirit, what are the messages for Virgos? Okay, so you have the Three of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles, the page of pentacles and the star card all right let me pull out your other four cards for your partner spread give me the energies of the partners of the of all right they have the four of cups the moon card whoa the six of wands and the sun okay central issue the eight of swords all right virgos the eight of swords this is a central issue um sorry not the central issue this is uh your general energy sorry general energy the eight of swords so you're definitely feeling like you've lost control over the situation regarding uh, your partnership or the person you're dealing with. There's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of frustration going on with you at the present time. Um, this can also be a representation of fear, uh, not being able to move forward, not wanting to make choices. And it's not that circumstances have you pinned down. It's just that you're refusing to move on or you're refusing uh, to make changes that are going to help you progress uh, in regards to romance and in regards to your love life. So let me pull out a card that is a central issue. Give me one second. Spirit, give me the central issue of this relationship regarding Virgos for the mid month of September 2017. Okay. The central issue. <clears throat> well, this is definitely not you. You are an earth sign. Okay. So you may be dealing with you may be dealing with an Aquarius you may be dealing with an air sign an air sign would be a, a Gemini Aquarius or a Libra or you may also be dealing with a Leo um, because in their cards uh, the Sun card is there very present so again it could represent a Leo now the central issue or the issue that is currently uh, surrounding your partnership with this person or the person that you're dealing with is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is definitely an air sign. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. could be their moon or rising. This is usually a person that is very conniving, a person that could see through a lot of bullshit or very upfront. This can very well represent if you're dealing with a male, it could represent the mother figure. Um, if the mother figure is a widow or someone that, you know, uh, pretty much grew their children without the parent, uh, the other parent, um, again, it could represent uh, the mother figure of your partner, or it can very well represent a person from their past. Um, the Queen of Swords as a central issue, this is what is currently happening, okay? And the reason why there's a disconnect in this relationship has to do with this Queen of Swords. So again, like I said, if this is in fact the mother figure, um, they're the ones advising the partner, whether it's a female or whether it's a male, um, not to put so much energy or effort into this relationship, perhaps because they see that it's toxic relationship. So getting that out the way, you have the three of sorts. So there's definitely a third party energy here. The reason why I say that is because this is the first card that came out and they both popped out. So for some of you Virgos, if you were living with a partner or married, um, this could have been something that happened in the past or, pro or probably progressed throughout the initial stages of your relationship. And it's just now coming into the open uh, that your partner was actually dealing with the third party energy. There's definitely cheating here. And the reason why I say that is, again, 
because the three of swords is following very quickly the the ten of pentacles so the ten of pentacles is definitely the household uh living with them or moving in with them um but there is definitely uncertainty and hidden intentions and obviously third party energies now there is a page of pentacles here and the page of pentacles here could represent the children uh it could be if you're living in a relate or if you were in a live-in relationship it's starting to affect your children for those of you guys that have children um it could represent you know if you guys are dealing with uh virgos if you guys are dealing with a woman that had children and you moved in with them um it's affecting the children because they grew uh close to you even though it's the mother that has been doing the cheating now, for those of you guys that are females that are dealing with this type of scenario, it could represent if you have children, um, it's starting to affect them because they grew very fond of the person that you were with, okay? Now, again, the Page of Pentacles definitely talks about a message coming through, and it's a message that came through. Uh, perhaps you were sensing it, perhaps you were feeling it, uh, but it, 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 it was a while before it actually came out to the open. Now this as a general energy there is a lot of doubts connected to this um feeling like you didn't know what what the hell was going on it caught you off guard but finally you're getting clarity and the reason why you're getting clarity is so you can learn it seems like for some of you guys you guys continue when it comes to partnerships you guys continuously keep making the same mistakes um and what i mean by that is if you're in a relationship and you find out that your partner has been talking to someone through social media or that they've been connecting with another, you know, male or another female, depending on it's a general reading. So depending if you're a female or a male Virgo um, and you create this argument, but then you oversee it and don't hold them accountable for it, they're going to continuously keep doing that. So ultimately, it's up to you to teach other people that your self-worth okay so what I mean by that is based on the fact that if you allow people to walk all over you they're going to continuously keep doing that and you're going to continuously be in partnerships or in relationships where there is no sanctity or there is no respect for monogamy and that's something that you have to really come to terms with that so there has to be a change in the pattern that you usually do Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, in regards to your partner, they have the four of cups. The four of cups is boredom. So perhaps, um, you know, the, the relationship grew a little bit boring. Uh, monogamy um, perhaps is not something that <laughs> they're very interested in. Um, the best example, the best way for me to put it is if you're dealing with an example, if you're dealing with a male and he's in his 40s, and he doesn't have children you have to ask yourself why is he single and why doesn't he have children now i'm not knocking down those single men out there that pursued a career um because obviously that's what took in that's what took most of their time but if this is a person that is lazy or it's a person that doesn't really do anything for you um you kind of have to wonder all this time that they've spent what did they put that effort to what did they put that time into if they're not married they've never been married then that should tell you that's a red flag now I know it's not very good to judge people but listen to your intuition and you Virgos tend to not listen to your intuition you kind of try and hope for the best without really listening to your intuition you guys are an earth sign you guys are very grounded but a lot of the times unfortunately uh, you guys decide or don't really put effort into listening to what your spirit guides or what your intuition is telling you. So again, uh, the four of cups is them definitely turning down the offer uh, or turning down the fact that they want to put more effort into this relationship. Now, the moon card is right next to it. So there's a lot of hidden agenda here. They're not being honest and they're not being completely upfront with you in regards to certain things that are hidden. Now, for some, it can very well represent the fact that from a previous relationship, they had a children, a child, and perhaps that's what came into clarity. Maybe that's what recently came out. Um, and again, there's a lot of things that are being hidden uh, or things that are happening behind your back that you're not clear on or you want clarity on. Um, ultimately, 
the six of wands here is being represented as this person moving forward or moving away from this relationship, jumping very quickly into another relationship or putting the effort into another relationship. So what I mean by that is the six of uh, wands could very well represent a person that is feeling triumphant, a person that is very... Um, feel like they've achieved something but I feel that this is an energy that is in the reverse position so what that represents is usually a person that is extremely cocky or a person that feels that you need to praise them in order for them to feel uh, confident about themselves and they pride themselves in going from one relationship to the other so be very careful with that Virgos okay now <clears throat> I am going to get a clarity card because Give me one second. Let's make the clarity in regards to this moon. Why is this moon here? 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 Give me clarity card. Clarification card. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted clarification in regards to this moon. Why is this moon card here? And it obviously has to do with emotions and with them keeping hidden or not being up front uh, with you in regards to them either still having uh, feelings for a person that was in the past that could be represented represented with this queen of swords or a person that they were actually seeing around the time that they were seeing you um, because obviously it has to do with emotions so that's the reason why uh, they weren't you know they're not willing to put the effort so here's the thing if you recently found out that your partner is talking to someone else and you confront them about it instead of wanting them wanting to give you an explanation they're very quick to like if you live with them they're very quick to pick up their stuff and leave then what that's telling you is that they're not emotionally invested in you because they're emotionally invested in someone else okay so again there is a lot of hidden agenda here and a lot of things that are being kept from you um so try to put here's the thing a lot of the times you can go a whole lifetime waiting for someone to give you an explanation of why they do the things they do and a lot of the times it doesn't happen that way a lot of the times people don't give you explanations and the more time you invest in sitting there and wanting to get an explanation from them it's just time that an energy that you're wasting and again if you do decide to go back with this person because again the six of a wants is definitely a representation it's in the reverse position that's what I'm sensing so it's them being cocky and knowing that they can still come back at you whenever they want and you're gonna receive them because the Sun card does represent the Union coming or coming together again so here's the thing if you allow them and if you forgive them for this one I guarantee you that it's going to happen again so that's something you really have to analyze Virgo now, for those of you guys that are currently single at the present time, this uh, Queen of Swords could be a representation of a female or male energy that is that of an air sign. So it would be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, perhaps a person from your past that unfortunately betrayed your trust um, or the partnership that you had. You move forward from that. You obviously learned your lesson and you're still hopeful about love you still have very high hopes for love and that is definitely most definitely a beautiful thing um, don't ever allow people to taint you when it comes to romance and when it comes to love now the person that you're dealing with at the present time um, this is these are for people that are single okay the four of cups definitely talks about boredom uh, it could even represent them trying to entertain the fact that they know you're interested in them and they kind of tease you a little bit but it's not that they're actually interested it's more that they do it out of fun or um, again like I said boredom this moon card here talks about secrets or things that they're keeping hidden from you so perhaps they're actually seeing someone and they're not being upfront and honest with you about it uh, perhaps because they know that you kind of are interested in them so they're kind of keeping you in the back burner so again like I said try the best you can to listen to your intuition if you're being told um, or if you feel like something's off it usually represents that it is off the six of wands here is definitely a representation of them feeling or going towards a goal or trying to achieve a goal that has nothing to do 
um, with plans of being with you, this has more, more to do with conquering. So it, it could be that they, you know, sign up for a new course. Uh, they're starting to, uh, get some type of training, whether it's working out, whether it's, it's goals that they're trying to achieve life goals that they're trying to achieve. And they will ultimately will be, um, getting to a point in their life where they're able or capable of achieving. So again, like I said, I don't see them, uh, emotionally invested in you. So if you are dealing in fact with a Leo, if you're dealing with a cancer or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, then definitely, again, like I said, try the best you can. Um, it's fine to have different types of friendships, whether it's both male or female, that's perfectly fine. But don't invest in, uh, don't invest your time and energy into a person that you see that goes and comes back and goes and comes back because obviously they're not wanting anything serious at this point in time. I feel that at this point in time, they're more concerned about life progression and goals, okay? And perhaps maybe that's something that you need to learn um, in a positive aspect, meaning do you have goals? And if you do have goals, what are you doing to get to those goals? So it's time for you to start focusing on yourself and putting effort and making yourself better. Uh, because in the long run, no relationship or no one person is going to make you happy unless you're able to make yourself happy. And that starts within yourself. Okay, so I hope you guys like this uh, reading. Like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. And we will see from each other at the beginning of the month of October. Okay, bye.